Hello, everybody. We're going to talk about units of measure now. Oops. Yep, we're okay. Uh, in the units of measure, uh, what a unit is, is just like uh, some quantity of things. So you said, uh, I have 10 apples. The apples is, a single apple is the unit of measure uh, in that um, quantity. So we, in science, we use uh, a number of base units that are used um, and they cover a lot of different uh, things from there, like, uh, like meters, grams, seconds, ampere, kelvin, mole, candela, and byte. Uh, and they measure different things, but <clears throat> you can use combinations of these to make interesting things like, uh, like velocity, right? Velocity is a meter per second. So that, that uses two of those base units. Um, we could do uh, Newton. A Newton is a unit of force. And force is kilogram uh, sent at an acceleration. So meter per second squared. And they go as far as doing things like volts. Or, um, it's a Newton meter or ampere second. <laughs> So if it boils down to the base units, it would be all the way uh, to something like this, meter, kilogram meters squared per ampere second cube. So all of this together, uh, it makes a volt, um, a unit of electrical energy. So these are some of the basic ones. You can always make up uh, other ones that, that exist, like pounds are also a unit of force, but... Um, there is the SI system, the um, stands for International System of Units, uh, but probably the French version of System International or whatever. Anyway, so that is what units are, and the way that we put the units together are to use these prefixes and uh, these suffixes. So let's just uh, take an example of meters. Okay, so meters are. Um, about a yard or you know about this long if you can see in the picture there uh, and we could break that down into smaller pieces so we'll use uh, this prefix of centa so centimeter is one hundredth of a meter so if you break a meter up into a hundred uh, pieces one of those pieces would be called a centimeter and there it is uh, if you broke the meter up into tenths, into ten pieces, you would have, uh, actually, a hundred divided by ten would be ten, so there'd be ten centimeters, or one decimeter. Okay, and then so the next level up from decimeter would be uh, just a single meter, and you don't have to put any prefix on it, it's just meter. And then... These don't happen as much, but decameter would be 10 meters, uh, 100 meters would be a hectometer, and you don't hear those too much uh, if you go over to the track. So you have like the 100 meter dash, which is one straight away on the track. Uh, you don't ever hear people say hectometer, but you could, I guess, and it would be uh, a way you could say it. And 100 meters is... Um, a little more than 100 yards, 110 yards would be about 100 meters. Um, so if you see a football field, that's 100 yards, which is pretty close, just ten, uh, about 10% off of 100 meters. Um, so what 10 of those meters would be a decameter. Uh, and then we go up to 1,000, and you do hear kilometer or kilometer used quite a bit, and if you do... Um, a 5k, which is a typical distance that people run, uh, that's 5 kilometers, which is um, 5,000 meters. Um, and then you don't really hear of any of these other ones. A uh, megameter would be a million meters, which is probably bigger than the radius or the circumference of the Earth, so uh, you don't really hear about this one. Uh, giga, but you do hear about these in relationship to bytes, right? digital information. You do have megabytes, kilobytes, gigabytes, and terabytes that are used pretty typically. So let's compare the relationship of those. How much, 
how many um, megabytes is there in one gigabyte? Okay, so if one gigabyte is 10 to the ninth, 10 to the ninth bytes. So how much would that be if it was in mega units? So if we take it out and it's uh, 10, I could split that up into 3 plus 6, right? So, uh, well, let me do one more step. 10 to the 3 plus 6. It's the same as 10 to the 3rd times 10 to the 6th, right? And then I break this. Uh, 10 to the 3rd is um, 1,000, right? So it's a thousand times ten to the sixth. So it's a thousand and ten to the sixth is mega, right? So one gigabyte is a thousand megabytes. So if it's three away, you can see it goes up to the next level. There, there's a thousand megabytes in one gigabyte. There will be a thousand gigabytes in one terabyte. And so what about, let's go all the way up to Yoda. Do you think there is a Yoda byte of storage? So one Yoda byte. So how many terabytes is that? Let's say everybody on Earth has a terabyte. So that would be six million people, which is, or six billion, sorry. So six billion, how big is that number? One, two, three, that's six million billion would be three more. So this is six times ten to the ninth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if everybody had a terabyte, they have six billion terabytes. Is that enough to be a Yoda byte? So six times ten to the ninth times how many terabytes are 10 to the 12th. So I would add exponents and I get 6 times 10 to the 21st. So this will be 6 times 10 to the 21st bytes. So I'm going back to the base unit, right? The base unit. And 6 times 10 to the 21st is not big enough, right? That's a zeta byte. So it's 6 zeta bytes would be the storage of Every if every human on Earth had a terabyte of storage, but uh, let's see. So, so to get from a zeta byte to a yoda byte, I go up by three more. So if every person on Earth had a thousand terabytes of storage, then we would have uh, six yoda bytes. Right? So if I multiply by ten to the third, I would get there. I'd get to ten to the twenty-fourth. Okay, so that's uh, kind of how these units are used, um, and how we can compare the relationship between these that it's every three is another thousand times bigger. So to go from any of these powers of three, by the way, these, these two, the 10 to the first and 10 to the second, um, they're, they're, they're not on that pattern, right? So it goes from zero to three to six, nine, 12. For every um, three place values, you kind of have to jump up to there. But uh, these two are kind of special because they're close the beginning and also these two are special because they're close to the beginning the hundredths and the tenths but then it jumps for every uh, three place values above that okay so that's how we use units in science and in math so go ahead and do the exercises that are in math